Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia and today we're talking used cars. This one's a nice one. This is stock number I9030A. It's a 2017 Subaru Forester 2.5i. It's, I believe, a limited model. Let's go take a look. All right, a little bit of snow falling here this morning, but that's okay. That's okay. good weather to talk about a Subaru, I figure. And uh, so Tim's been prepping me with all sorts of specs on this thing. Tim's our sales manager. And he's telling me there's only three of these in Ontario in the used market right now. So uh, kind of a unique car for us and a unique car overall. Here we go, take a look up front. Have headlights there, fog lights down low as well, what you would expect. Typical Subaru sort of squared off look. The Forester's been a really popular kind of wagon SUV. Uh, typical Subaru uh, style, they don't go full heavy duty off-road FCV, but uh, they certainly do all weather uh, traction well. So you've got a nice uh, roof rack up top there. You've got the cross rails on there, so it's not just the side rails, it's the cross rails as well. You can mount your bikes and kayaks right away. Uh, PZEV, this is uh, Subaru's uh, partial zero emissions vehicle. So what that means is it is a gas vehicle, but it has a, a really good catalytic converter. Uh, takes some of those uh, pollutants out of the air. So it is an environmentally friendly vehicle. And uh, yeah, let's hop inside. It's a cool day outside. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is, full disclosure, we have not even detailed this car, cleaned it up at all yet. I'm already getting to it before they even got to that. And I think that's okay. This car's in good condition. All right, let's take a look at the dash here. So a little blue light on on the dash. That just means the engine's not warmed up yet, and that's okay. Tachometer's on the left side there. In the center, you have an information display panel. On the right, you have a, uh, a speedometer. Over here, you have a multi-information display up top. So you've got uh, lots of areas where you have multi-information displays. So up here uh, in the center of the dash, right over here. A little bit hard to show you on camera, but you've got... Uh, Dual zone climate control showing on the left, top left there. Right now there's a digital clock, but we can cycle through those later. Over down here on the stereo system, you do have a CD player, as well as AM, FM, and satellite radio. So you have uh, any car you buy from us with satellite radio, you get three free months of satellite radio. Here's your controls for that climate control system. So like I said, it is a dual zone automatic climate control system. So set the temperature to whatever you want, and uh, you can have different temperatures for the passenger or the driver. A little further down, what I like to call Rump roasters, heated seats, high and low on both driver and passenger side. There is a button there. I don't know if I can get the camera to adjust a little bit. It's, let's see if we can get it to do it. No, maybe not. It's kind of angry at me today, but it says X mode, X mode all wheel drive system. So that's this button here. And uh, what that does is put it in more of an off-road style uh, um, system. So you can handle the all wheel drive system on an off-road system or off-road uh, area as well. Over here, you've got sort of a brushed aluminum look on the door handle. You've got nice soft uh, armrest, the leather look uh, with the contrasting stitching in the door, and a cloth the area over there that matches the cloth area in the seat over here. So you have a two-tone seat, a little bit of a blue, just specks in those seats there. The rest of it is all gray, and uh, dark gray, I should say, with a contrasting stitching as well. Five-passenger vehicle, you can see there's an armrest there that folds down. The thing I really like about this car is it does not have a panoramic sunroof, but it kind of does. It's got a huge oversized sunroof, so single panel, and I guess kind of similar to our panoramic roof, but just the front panel. So it's a way oversized sunroof, gives a lot of light uh, in the here, and of course you see snow on top of that right now. But even with the snow, it gives a lot of light, and you can cover that up with a panel if you don't want all that light. Over on the steering wheel, it is a CBT automatic transmission. So there's the automatic transmission, it is a CBT, but you do have paddle shifters as well. So paddle shifters will allow you to choose uh, full gear ratios, which allow you to switch through and give choose your own gears essentially. Over here is your cruise control and your steering wheel. Over here, you've got multi-information displays. Like I said, there's one in the center of the dash and there's one up there. So you've got controls down here and controls up here for your displays and your audio system and up, everything like that. So all Bluetooth controls uh, are all in there. Looks like you've got uh, blind spot monitoring right there and uh, traction control down low as well. So you've got, uh, this is what you can do to set your, if you have a garage door that uh, the trunk might hit it on the way up. It is a power trunk on this one. We'll show you that in a second. And you can set that to only go up three quarters with that button there. Power windows, power locks, uh, all the things you expect on uh, this level of car. I'm afraid to get out because the seat heater was really nice and warm, but I got to do my job. All right, here's what the key looks like. Simple uh, key fob and key all in one. I'm going to hold this little button. Let me try to get it better in my hand. I'm going to hold this button right here for the trunk. And if I do that, it's going to beep a couple times and there it goes. Trunk opens. This one, like I said, hasn't been detailed up yet. You can see they've always obviously taken care of the car. They have a rubber mat in here. So I mentioned that PZEV label on the back. These people traded this car in only because they wanted to go with a full electric car. So uh, that's what they've got now. There's a 12 volt port there. And uh, so we have a full electric Kia Nero and Kia Soul. And uh, that's how we ended up with this car. 
So if you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a call. Phone number is 519-304-6542, or you can reach us online, www.brantfordkia.ca, or the easiest way to reach us is just click the link in the description below this video, and that'll take you right to our sales team. Thanks everybody for watching.